what is up youtube how's everybody out there doing today i hope you enjoyed that little intro and if you guys know what that's all about i'm sure you guys have seen the movie bird box which i actually seen way before the memes came out and uh i'll be honest with you pretty good movie pretty decent movie but i've noticed everybody is coming out with these bird box uh uh, challenges on YouTube and I figured you know what what better way to commemorate Bird Box movie than to do a Bird Box challenge here at this shop and basically what you guys are going to see is uh, I'm gonna put a blindfold on and I'm gonna put some more parts on the old C7 Z06 LT4 engine right here guys we'll probably uh, bolt down the center here we'll probably end up putting the rockers on torquing them down blindfolded you know and then uh which will be okay to do honestly because once i set it to the right torque spec it's just a matter of you know tightening them down i could literally do that with my eyes closed anyways but we're gonna wear a blindfold just to make it more interesting i think it'll be more fun for you guys to see anyways get this all done get the rockers done uh maybe we'll even put on the front pulley i'm not really sure if we'll get that done today yet but uh just a fun little video i think you guys would be interested to see uh how the rockers go on and all that stuff with the pedestals but it should be pretty 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 funny and i will tell you guys right off the bat right off the bat that uh i will double check all this stuff with the blindfold off to make sure everything is correct and nothing is messed up or goofed up or anything of that nature because we definitely do not want to hurt this engine in any way it is a freshly built engine from golan engines the short block is from golan engines we have some great k-tech ported cnc heads on this as well plus a new custom comp cam setup if you guys don't know anything about this engine and this is your first time viewing this video i will be very grateful for you to all do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and check out my sponsors list below in the description to see all the awesome people that have helped me out on this car here which is a 1998 firebird formula full built engine turbo setup and obviously the people that have assisted in this engine as well the lt4 for this uh beautiful c7 z06 in the shop that we're going to be completing here very soon this is a pro charged car and uh with a lot of help and a lot of luck and obviously some really awesome parts from these great uh suppliers here this thing's gonna make over a thousand horsepower so keep a lookout for that guys i'm sure all of you will be interested to see this thing on the dyno which will be happening very 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 soon once we get this thing completely together and inside the car in the next few uh maybe week or two here which would be pretty cool i'm excited i know you guys are excited uh everybody's been waiting a long long time to see this car make the power it's supposed to make and see this thing on the dyno so it should be pretty interesting to keep a follow on the progress of this vehicle so obviously the very first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and put on our blindfold and considering the fact that i don't actually have a professional netflix blindfold with me today I'm just gonna use the cut up piece of my shirt. We'll show you here. Good old uh, DFR uh, dry blend shirt I have now ruined. I guess it's about a $25 loss there um, on a shirt. But we are going to use a shirt to do this. Uh, it's just cut up like I said and, um, and stuff. So uh, let's get started. We'll get all the parts situated, get the rockers out. We're gonna get a table, bring it over here. We're gonna lay everything out. That way it's easy for me to find the parts that I need to look for. Um, that way I'm not like scrounging around and being like, oh, where's that? Where's this? Where's that? Where's this? Uh, everything's going to be kind of laid out nice and neat. That way it's going to make it a little bit easier for me being blindfolded to go ahead and, uh, you know, find the parts I need to put on the engine that we're working on. Where I lied on the table, I'm just using my stackers here. But uh, to make things a little bit easier, I put the bolts in the... Uh, in the high pressure fuel pump here just so i can get them lined up easier and i'm not looking for a long bolt compared to a short bolt i have my valley cover bolts right here in the middle i have my passenger side parts on this side my driver's side parts on this side of the starter that way when i'm feeling around i know where i'm looking for and it's only going to be uh 13 millimeters these everything the nice thing is everything's 13 millimeter here so a 13 millimeter socket or a wrench will accommodate me very good and then the rockers are eight millimeter and then we'll break out the torque wrench and get it all torqued down and then uh, at least this small part of this engine will be ready to rock and roll 
and uh, then we can get her in the car as well, which we won't do in this video. I know a lot of you guys would probably be very interested, <laughs> very interested to see me try to put this engine in this car blindfolded. But let's get this started. Let's get these parts on and uh, we'll just one more step closer to getting this engine in this car and getting it running, which is going to happen very, very soon. sucked a little bit let's make sure we did it right so we got all the push rods in <laughs> I'm surprised I hit all the holes and that's something look at that double check everything make sure it's good to go and we are good to go guys that's freaking awesome oh boy you know every time I pick something up I just lose my place again I'm not sure where oh there it is right there okay. where the freaking engine is one of these days I'm just gonna walk right into that thing and hurt my Too bad not too bad um, they're not tightened down yet or anything but um they are pretty much sitting like they're supposed to be that one's kind of goofed up here they're all sitting like they're supposed to be so I cannot say I did not do a bad damn job at this, this is pretty awesome guys pretty awesome all right guys listen I am not that freaking stupid I'm not that freaking dumb so we're not gonna assemble this freaking very expensive LT4 engine together with a damn blindfold on it's really kind of irresponsible and really kind of freaking stupid as well. And uh, I'll be honest with you, all these people out there doing this whole bird box challenge crap on YouTube and doing very dangerous stunts like uh, driving cars and uh, walking around bumping into shit. You guys are all pretty damn dumb, to be honest, because something's going to happen. Someone's going to get hurt. And I even know for a fact that Netflix put an a little thing out there saying listen guys don't be so dumb to do this stuff basically and if you're gonna do this stuff please be careful doing this stuff as well but uh yeah I'm definitely not gonna be assembling a freaking ten thousand dollar engine together uh, with a blindfold on that's kinda just really really dumb and just so uh, all you guys know that disclaimer out there for all you guys uh, I could see through the shirt honestly it wasn't that uh, it wasn't that dark and uh, this was only for entertainment purposes only and that was all it was for we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go and put the uh, other rockers on the other side and uh, torque everything down and uh, you guys can watch the speed up of all that on the rockers are on push rods are in everything is torqued down to spec we even got the high fuel pump in which is pretty freaking cool 
And on to the next step. The next step is obviously going to be putting the injectors in, which we have brand new, brand new LT4 injectors for this uh, for this engine. So we're not going to be using the old ones over just in case we have any type of a defective issue with the old ones. We don't want to take the chance since we're putting all this money and all this time into a brand new engine setup for this C7 Z06. We are only going to be using brand new parts and the best of the best parts out there available for this engine. So other than that guys, we are going to end this video. Probably the next video you'll see of this uh, of this car and this engine will be the actual installation of the engine in the car, which will be happening very soon, just like I stated in the beginning of the video here. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this, just a fun little video, just a, just a fun little video, nothing crazy, nothing serious. So don't get all your panties up in a bunch and everything. We like to have fun here sometimes too, and it's okay to have fun at your shop. It's nothing wrong with that. It's totally okay. But if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a big, big favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram is Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys, and I hope you all have a great freaking day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever it is in your neck of the woods.